a shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Das, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hey, uh, let me put this right up here. All right. I'm going to say, uh, Shalom to the Aki and the brethren out there, you know, brothers out there doing the work. That's our job is to do this work, okay? To do the work of Yahweh Shai, okay? We're not doing the work of, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. We do the work in the name of Yahweh Shai, okay? Because Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of the Messiah, is Yahweh Shai. It's not Jesus Christ. So all these Christians out here, they're calling on Jesus Christ, okay? That, that's an English word. That's not even Hebrew, Okay, Yahweh Shai was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. But anyway, I was just make a quick video. I got I got a little time while I'm driving, but I just I just wanted to make a video to you know to, for a message to y'all Christians to let y'all know that we have the truth, and there's nothing you can do about it. We have the truth, so you you just got to deal with it. You know, y'all get all mad and get all sad. You know, you got a bunch of sad boys out there. You always get on the comment board like, huh. You guys are teaching hatred. You're teaching lies. You guys are false prophets. <laughs> I laugh. I laugh at you peasants every time you make one of those comments. I laugh at you. Okay? Because I know we have the truth. Okay? And that, that brings great joy and great pleasure to me. That y'all get so sad. You, know, you Christians get so sad. You get so butt hurt. You know, that we have the truth. Y'all get so mad and so sad. You're oh so sad. That we bring out the scriptures and we prove the fact that Yahweh Shah, he only came to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Salvation is for the nation of Israel. That makes y'all sad. <laughs> so I can see why y'all uh, hating on the comment board all the time. You know, you put, you know how it is. You put up a brand new video or something, and there always be that hater got to come on the comment board. You know, talking trash. Like this guy the other day, I made a video. He told us that we was teaching lies or whatever, and then. Uh, I tried, clicked on his name, went to his channel. He didn't have no videos at all. And I asked him, I said, where's your videos at? He's like, oh, oh it's not about making videos. What do you mean it's not about? I guess it's not about making comments either. So why make comments? Why? I mean, why even comment on my video? He's like, it's not about making videos. Oh, it is about making videos. Because we're supposed to teach the gospel and through any means possible. You're supposed to get on the highways and the byways and teach the gospel. One of those highways and byways is the internet. That's not the only one. Because, you know, a lot of people, they'll only make videos on the internet. Okay? And they'll say that's the highways and the byways. No, you got to go on the streets teaching too. You got to go outside, among, you know, in real life <laughs> and go teach. If I bet the so-called so Christians, they don't go on the streets to teach either. Okay? They might make a YouTube video. But most of them, they're not going to go on the streets consistently. They might go out and every once in a while go teaching. But they're not going to do it like us. Okay? Starting with the elders of Great Millstone. We got brothers across the across the earth in the four corners of the earth. We teach on the, on the streets on the regular. Week in and week out. Constantly on the streets teaching this gospel. And that's how you know we're the real prophets and everybody else is not. Because they're not out there teaching. They wasn't sent. What does the word apostle mean to be sent out, right? We sent out on a mission. We sent out on a mission to teach the gospel of Yahweh Shai. And what is the gospel of Yahweh Shai? The gospel of Yahweh Shai is that he came to take away the sins of his people. He came to save his people from their sins. That's Matthew, the first chapter. Yahweh Shai came to take away Israel's sins. Okay, he came to bring salvation to Israel. And that's why he had 12 disciples. Yeah, ask a Christian that question. These Christians, bro. Like I said, though, this shit is funny. I'm gonna watch my mouth. That's said a cuss word. They're gonna delete my channel. I can already feel it. They're gonna delete the channel. I'm trying not to cuss or nothing. I bet they still delete the channel. I can see it coming already. You know? Down to the last YouTube channel. <laughs> we down to the last YouTube channel. They're gonna try to delete this one. You know? Why can they always deleting our channels? That's an, I'm just in the spirit just speaking anyway. Why are they always deleting our channels? We don't break any laws or anything. That is straight up censorship because they don't want to hear what we have to say. Because because what we the message that we bring it cuts people to the heart. You know, just like Hebrews the fourth chapter was a Hebrews four and twelve. You know the the uh, the sword of the Lord is His word. The word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It's gonna this word cuts right to your spirit, cuts to your soul. 
That's why when we make these videos, you get all these sad boys on the comments. You know, with their little, <laughs> with their little sad comments. So they're just so mad that we are here teaching. But guess what? You can't stop us. Because we keep on teaching. You know, we'll, we'll keep teaching longer than you'll be scoffing. You know, you'll be dead and gone. Brothers will still be out here teaching. And you can't stop it. That's the best part about it. Like Vocab Malone. He hates us teaching so much. But guess what, Vocab? You can't stop us. You think you can stop us, but you can't stop us. You know? Just like the scriptures say, there's nothing you can do against us. You come, you think you're coming against us, but you're really helping us. All you're doing is giving us more exposure. Like Vocab Malone, he'll make a video thinking he's exposing somebody. But I was watching one of his videos. I think I was in the video. I was watching this video, and it... <laughs> You could learn from the video just by, you know, Vocab thought he was cutting somebody when really he was just showing us teaching people. And we was making way more sense than him. You know, we was cutting him up in pieces. And he still posted a video. That dude ain't too bright. But that's good, though, because the Lord put that spirit on him to be like that. That spirit of blindness. Because he doesn't know that he's really helping us a great deal. Uh, we appreciate the help. We need all the help we can get. We need all, you know, we need more exposure. So thanks for, so all the haters, all they do is bring more exposure to us. Somebody might, might be like, oh, I never heard of the Israelites before, uh, vocab alone, you know? <laughs> he thinks he's hurting us, he's helping us. But yeah, man, so I just laugh at y'all when y'all get mad. Because, it's, cause it's, you know when somebody gets that real salty feeling, and that real salty look in their eyes, and that real salty look on their face? It's, that happens when they get proven wrong. Okay, when they know they're wrong, but they can't admit it because it, it feels so bad. You know, but that's the Christians. That's Vocab Malone. They feel so salty. You know, and that's salt in a good way either, in a bad way, in a hood sense. Okay. <laughs> With that, I'm going to say Shalom, just a quick one.